Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to cook it up. Today, we're doing something quick and easy. Y'all know how much we love Bertoli over here. I just love the Bertoli products. To me, they're pretty decent. Uh, gotta add a little season here and there, but Bertoli, y'all are right with me. Anyway, today we'll be cooking the Bertoli family size chicken parmigiana and penne. So, let's see what they got in here. Breaded white meat chicken patties with penne, juicy tomatoes and mozzarella, and a savory tomato sauce. Ooh, don't that sound good? All that y'all just said, but totally better be in this bag. The sauce, the penne, all that breaded chicken, better be, better not be no two, three pieces of chicken, but totally not. That's the only thing, but totally don't be putting enough meat enough for me, so I always gotta add meat, but we gonna see, cause I ain't cooked this before. All right, and we got the old Publix garlic breadsticks. Y'all know, these are my new favorite breadsticks. Publix garlic breadsticks, these things are like $2, so they're not expensive at all, y'all. Nice, you know what, and this uh, Bartoli I got on sale at Publix for $7.99, and the uh, breadsticks are like $2. That's a $10 meal, y'all. Quick and easy, $10 for the family. All right, let's get into it, y'all. All right, guys, I'm back. We're ready to put in our family-sized chicken parmesan. Ready to put it in. I've got my two tablespoons of Bertoli oil. As you guys can see, I use the Bertoli vegetable oil. I put two tablespoons of the oil in there. And we're just gonna go ahead and dump this in our pan. Ooh, y'all. I gotta show up. Oh, calm down. Calm down, pan. Calm down. I got that garlic bread in the oven. That's about ready to come out. Ooh. I like the way this looks. Okay. All right. Y'all know I gotta take y'all in. Okay. I ain't know what's gonna look like that. Okay. Let me show y'all. Okay. Of course, y'all see we have the squares of the sauce that's going to melt down. We've got the breaded chicken patty. like They look like little chicken nuggets. Okay, that's cute, Bertoli. We'll see about that. And we got the penne, the penne noodles. And they got little pieces of tomatoes in there. Okay, okay, we're going to see. We're going to see about that. We're going to see about that. All right, these look real cute, y'all. Okay, I've got it on a medium-high heat. That's our garlic bread in the oven. I stuck that in the oven real quick. That's done seven to nine minutes. Go ahead and get that out. We just gonna cover this up. We just gonna cover that up. I'm telling you, the Bertoli meals, they too easy for me. That's probably why I like getting them. They too easy for me. Oh, that's gonna be a real cute meal. Let me show y'all the uh, garlic bread real quick. Since that's done already, garlic bread done before we even, Lord Jesus, the garlic bread is done before we even get the uh, main dish done. Bring y'all out. So we waiting on that to simmer down, get itself together. Bring y'all that garlic bread real quick. Ooh, look at that garlic bread. Seven minutes, 350, 375 degrees for seven minutes in my stove. That garlic bread look good, smell good, y'all. Oh, yes, it do. Okay, so I got y'all zoomed in. Let me go ahead, I'm going to give it a little stir. Give it a little stir. Cover it up for a minute. Then you just give it a little stir. It's going to all cook down. That sauce going to melt down. Okay. I just give it a little stir like that. Easy, y'all. The Bertoli meals are so easy. Already done for you. You just gotta cook it down. That's all. That sauce will melt down. Okay. Make sure you give it a stir, you know. Making sure everybody getting some love. Stir it up. Nice. Nice. This smells real good, y'all. Okay, you know what? That's right. It did say it had a little cheese in here somewhere. A little cheese. Look, they got a little cheese. Not too much cheese. Looks real good, y'all. It's so pretty and colorful. 
But you know what? While the sauce is melting itself down, I already know I'm going to have to add some seasonings to the patoli. I already know that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm adding a little garlic pepper. I'm going to go ahead and do that now while everything's cooking so my seasons can cook in the meal. <clears throat> so that's garlic pepper I just put in. I'm going to do a little salt. Season your food how you want to season your food. Nah. So I'm going to do a little parsley for color. Get that parsley in now so we can get some green. Let me take this top off. Oh yeah. That's going to be good, y'all. Ooh, that look good. Smell good. Okay, y'all see it? Bertoli. I love the Bertoli meals. We love the Bertoli meals. We do. Just got to, you know, if you, you want to, it's up to you. But I always add a little season. <clears throat> you know, Bertoli meals can be a little bland. You know, just my opinion from cooking so many Bertoli meals. They could be a little bland, so you got to add a little, you know, add your seasons, whatever seasons you want to add to your food, child. Yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead. Y'all see how it's cooking down? The sauce melts itself down. Okay. Looking good, but totally smelling good. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Okay. The little chunks of cheese that's melting in there. That's the little chunks of cheese, y'all. Stir it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you know what? They give you a decent amount of chicken. They give you a decent amount of chicken. Because I hate when they don't give you enough meat. They give you all pasta. Uh-uh. I don't want just no plain pasta. Uh-uh. I need some meat. I need some meat. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put my top back on. Let this cook down. See, because we still got chunks of sauce that needs to melt. See, that's the, that's the sauce right there. That needs to melt. So... We still got pieces of sauce that needs to melt down. So, let me stir it a little bit more. But, yeah. So, all right. We're going to let it do what it do. We're going to let it do it. Okay. All right. And our family-sized Bertoni meal looks amazing. Looks amazing. Smells amazing. Quick family meal idea. Done in about five minutes. For the family, I'm gonna put my top back on, and I'm gonna let that cook for about a good, maybe about five minutes. I think it should be done in five minutes. Y'all saw the garlic bread? Quick, easy family meal. Cause y'all know me, I'm gonna get you in and out of the kitchen. So, all right, guys, we'll be back, and I'll show you the grand finale. Okay, guys, we're back for the grand finale. And as you guys can see, it is all nicely cooked. The chicken parmesan by Bartoli. Looks amazing. Y'all know I got to really take y'all in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Done in 7 to 10 minutes, y'all. Y'all see how fast I cook that. 7 to 10 minutes. Nice quick family meal to get you in and out of the kitchen. All right, y'all. This is going to be a quick video. Y'all seen me do it. Y'all already saw the garlic bread. Y'all already saw the garlic bread over there. You see me do it, so you know I did it. And let me give y'all that word of the day, because y'all already know I got a word of the day for y'all. You know what? Sometimes we have to be a help to other people. Like when somebody calls you and say, hey, I need you to do this. Hey, I need you. You know what? I know sometimes we be tired and don't want to be bothered. I'm guilty of that. I'm just talking to y'all from what? You know, from me, from my spirit. You got to be a help. Whether it's a family, a friend, we got to be a help. Just the same way you want to call somebody to be there for you, we got to be there for other people, y'all. Let's be there for people. Let's be a help to someone. Somebody call us for help. Let's be there for them. Because I know sometimes I be calling people, I need some help. You know, can you come do this? Can you come? You know, y'all know what I'm saying. Word of the day. Be a help to somebody. Be there for somebody when they call you. The same way you want somebody to be there for you when you call them. It goes both ways. All right. You seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.